<laughs> I need to go mix this up. Apparently, I whipped my whipped coffee too well. Oh my gosh. Hey, <laughs> is this right? I also added white chocolate syrup to it, so <laughs> maybe I messed with the formulation too much. Let's see. Mmm, with coffee. Mmm, that's good. Hey friends, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining us. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Live With Viv on Instagram. I also have a blog at livewithviv.com. Welcome to my YouTube. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. So today I'm going to be sharing a polish brand with you that I have not yet shared on YouTube. This is a Pretty in Pastels collection from London Town. I have received PR from them in the past and I love their polishes. Then I got this collection through PR and I'm obsessed. I love the colors. I love the names of the polishes. For example, this is called Mint No Chip. I think that's so cute. I plan to soon do a Skittles Manny with some of these colors because I think they would look really cute together. So we'll see. So just a little bit about London Town polishes. They are a little bit more high end. I know if you order them online without a coupon or discount code or anything, they are $16 per bottle. But I know if you sign up for their emails, you do get a discount. I think it's 10 or 20%. So that makes them a little bit more affordable. It is a vegan nail polish brand. Each polish is infused with Florium Complex. Oh, what is that? It's a blend of holistic ingredients that hydrate, strengthens, and heals nails deep within. So it's a blend of cucumber extract, rapeseed flower oil, garlic extract, vitamin E, evening primrose oil, and chamomile extract. The real question is, do these polishes last longer than other polishes? So you guys all know that I don't wear my polishes more than a few days, but anytime I have worn these, the polish does seem to be a lot better quality on the nails, and I didn't have any chipping at all. These polishes do have a lot of ingredients in them to help get your nails in better shape. So let's go ahead and go through the polishes that I received. This first one here is Rose Water. This is described as a pale light pink cream. This is gorgeous. I also forgot to mention that these polishes are 16 free. Actually, nope, scratch that. They've just added more. Now they're 19 free and they're also cruelty free. I'm not gonna go through the list of ingredients that they're free from because I don't know how to pronounce most of them. I posted this on my Instagram. This is in the clouds and this is described as a beautiful baby blue. Next up we have mint no chip. Best name ever. This is a beautiful mint polish and yellow. This is buttercup. So perfect name for that one. That's so cute. And then we have plush. This is kind of a really nice purpley mauve polish. And last but not least, we have Uncovered. This is a, looks like a pinky nude. So this one looks pretty as well. Let's get into the swatches. Okay, so here we have the first coat of Buttercup. Beautiful pale yellow. And here we have the second coat. Mm, so pretty. And third coat here. And it's perfect. So pretty. Love this color. Next up we have Mint No Chip. Mm. This reminds me of Baskin Robbins mint chocolate chip ice cream. So good. All right. Second coat, mint no chip. And this is the third coat of Mint No Chip. Mm. 
I love this color. So pretty. Okay, and next up we have first coat of In the Clouds. So pretty. And this is the second coat. Goes on so nice and smooth. So pretty. Okay, and here we have Rose Water. This is a beautiful nude. Mm, so pretty. First coat there. Pretty sheer on that first coat. And we have the second coat. Oof. I love it. And here we have that third coat. Yes, ma'am. And this is uncovered. Just slightly more peach color, pretty. Okay, and here we have the second coat. You could possibly go for a third coat, but I'm okay with the way that looks with two coats. And last but not least, we have plush. This is pretty. Kind of reminds me of Essie Bangle Jangle but it has a little bit more pinky tones. And second coat of plush here. Okay, there we have it. All right, so which polish was your fave? Make sure to let me know, leave a comment down below. I would say my fave from this collection, or my two, no, I'm gonna say my fave because I need to stop saying two because it's a fave would be in the clouds. I think this is a beautiful polish. I love this color for spring and summer. So this one right here would be my fave. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you get notified of all my new videos. Also, if you guys were wanting comparisons on the SE 2020 Summer Collection and then the SE Feeling Poppy Collection, I have comparisons for all of the polishes up on my blog now. So check it out. And always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. Thank you. Mwah.